Good morning, brothers and sisters. I hope everyone is doing good. I hope everyone is spending time with their loved ones and getting to know each other. Um, this is this is one of the things that I want to share with you is a perspective. You have to change the perspective of your circumstances. Now, this whole situation that everyone's in is a blessing in disguise. Why? Because you get to build up your relationship with your spouses, your children, your friends, your loved ones, and everyone um, that you're near. God is going to reveal so much about yourself and so much of himself in you. And this is the time that we need to pay attention. If possible, I suggest everyone get a journal or a notebook and start documenting everything you're going through and everything you will go through and everything you will come out through. You know, because you're going to see this when you read this again and you're going to see how God has been in your life. But one of the things that I wanted to share this morning is that to remind you guys that even though we're far away, the thing that, God, that Christ gave us is the ability to pray. And I want you to do that because I know many people will feel right now hopeless and helpless. But God gave us the ability to come in prayer so he could do something. If we don't invite God, he ain't going to move. He's not going to move for me, just for me. You know, I could keep praying, praying, praying. But if you would really want to see the glory of God like he did for his people back in Egypt, you know, spinning the sea, cornered, and then he gave the way and he fed them and everything, you know what? Stop praying. Because there's many people right now who are suffering, our loved ones, our family, who had got this virus. And we had to be supportive in prayer for those people, the nations, our leaders, our doctors, and everyone throughout the world. This is a unified a time for all of us to come as one voice in prayer. And that's what we could do. That's what we're capable of doing. That's what Christ gave us. You know, and, and, and we should start doing that. And we should start just trusting in it, trusting this. Stop being stubborn. Stop. Don't let your ego, don't let your pride keep you from just doing this. You know, just take an opportunity just to give it a shot. You know, every morning at 3 p.m., and at 7 p.m., set your alarms. Set up alarms so you could pray at the same time. So when you pray, I'm praying, and everyone else is praying at the exact same time. And the Lord is going to hear one voice of the same thing. Healing for the nation, healing for the world, and stopping this plague. So, but I want to, I want to, sh I want to share something that the Lord brought to my attention. It's really awesome. And I'm going to read it to you right here. All right, I'm, 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 read it. I'm at work right now, but I'm going to read my Bible right now. Wait, hold on. So I want you, if you guys have a Bible, even drop, download a Bible app. Um, go to Ephesians 11. I mean, Ephesians 2, 11. But I'm going to go down to 14. And I'm going to show you something right here. It says... Well, I'm going to go to 13, okay? So it says, But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near through the blood of Christ through the blood of Christ 14 for he himself is our peace he himself is our peace who has made the two one and has destroyed the barrier you know separation God is destroying separation the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing in his flesh putting it on himself the law with his commandments and regulations okay so he's putting everything that's why he came down on the cross for us he's putting every all that transgressions our sins on himself an innocent being his purpose was to create in himself one new man out of the two thus making peace and in this one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross by which he put to death their hostility. He came and preached. Jesus came and preached peace to you who are far away and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access to the Father by one Spirit. By one Spirit, Christ. So why are you delaying? 
why, why hesitate? I mean, what's the point for me of reading all this Bible and, and, and getting to know God in this relationship build up in that reading and prayer and meditation for just me? There's, there's, it's pointless because it's never intended for one person. The prayers, church, Bible, reading, you know, uh, group, group gatherings, you know, praying for one another, supporting one another. That is the true meaning of living in Christ. It's relationship. It's been since the beginning of time. It's relationship. God had a relationship with Adam and Eve, you know, and then he reflected in marriage, you know, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just write notes on it. So when I share that with you, I'm going to point everything out in my perspective, what I have learned in through my meditation for this past, for the beginning of this year. You know, I want to share this awesomeness that God revealed to me. But right now, it's relationship building with Him and with your spouses and with your children and everyone near you. You know, and the only way to build that relationship is to put your pride down and serve the other. Okay? Get to know them. Okay? Get to know your wife. Get to know your husband. Hear them out. Have empathy. You know, get to know your kids educate them get a knowledge what's the point of having bible knowledge if we can use it let me let me tell you something we people are lost sheep okay but once we are found we sheep become a master we become a shepherd and i shared that before we when we come to christ and we have that relationship with christ we build up in that you know and it makes us a reflection of Christ and that's when we go back in the world we're different we're different beings we don't go back to our old nature we go to new nature and then right now this is the time for these sheep who was who was once sheep who are now shepherds are gonna be called by the Lord and led to go to the lost sheep right now those who are in faith and believers even with the smallest faith know God and we are the light of the world right now in this, in this dark time so every family and everywhere you're at there's at least one light beam around you and that one light beam is going to give you a light to your darkness because what he's supposed to do and she's supposed to do is uplift you calm you down give you comforting reveal something about yourself and how to lead you to christ how to lead you to the lord in prayer because what happens is once you start that connection of that prayer that's when your transformation begins. It's an internal, internal thing. It starts to transform you over time. So I suggest everyone, please just give it a shot. Pray in the mornings. Pray at 3. And pray at 7. And let God hear us pray. And watch. You're going to see how he reveals himself. All through the Bible, that's how he does. When, when we, we start crying out and we start praying for his help and we humble ourselves. Because right now, if this, this is like a, a virus right that it's got everyone in quarantine but you can't do anything and that shows you that because you're quarantined you're incapable of doing anything you're no longer yourself god you're no longer self-centered you can't do anything you know and that's what happens we separate ourselves from god because of what we can do on our own you know <laughs> But right now, this is a time to build that relationship with God. And when you come out with, when you come out of the quarantine, and you go back to the world, you're gonna be different. Well, we hope you will be different. You know, hopefully everyone will come in humble, humble, and be able to do ten times more than they ever did before they went in quarantine. But anyways, this is a time for build, relationship building with the Lord and everyone around you. Don't be afraid. Don't worry. worry. Give it to the Lord, and he got you. God bless you, brothers and sisters. And continue praying for the people who are sick, for the doctors who are looking for vaccines, for the leaders who are trying to have control of making sure that everyone don't go crazy. All right? God bless you, brothers and sisters. Amen.